guys, it's Tracy with Stampin' Away with Tracy, and I want to show you how you can stamp once and make two different card layouts. So, let's get started. We're going to be using new product out of the new annual catalog, 2020 to 2021. We're going to be using the Celebrate Sunflowers. We're going to be using the, the embossing folder from the greenery section. And look how pretty that is with the leaves. I love that. And I'm going to show you that. We're also using the dies from, if I can find them. Oh, right in front of my face, right here. And this is from the sunflowers. The Celebrate Sunflower Dies, we're going to be using these also. So, let's get started. And, oh, one other new item we're going to be using. We're going to be using the Lovely Label Pick a Punch. This is a fantastic tool. You can do three different sizes from these punches. So, three from here and three from here. And the opportunities are endless on this mix and match. So, what you need to get started, you need a sheet of very vanilla. Of course, you can do any color in this that you decide. Very vanilla, it needs to be five and a quarter by eight inches because we are going to cut this in half to have two four inch pieces by five and a half. Okay? So, again, this is eight inches wide, five and a quarter long. We're going to cut it right in the middle at four inches after we stamp it. So, what I, what I did, because I've got this on my glass mat, is I've got a little low-tack tape that I'm securing it down with. Just the opposite corners is all it needs. Nothing, nothing drastic here. So, I just adhere that down. And the next thing I do is I have my Early Espresso ink. That's what we're using today, Early Espresso. And we're using the Large Sunflower from the new set, Sunflower, Celebrate Sunflowers. And we're going to be using this one right here. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to ink it up with our Early Espresso. This is quite a large stamp. I think you'll be really happy with it. It is, let me see, about a little more than three inches, maybe three and a quarter at its widest point. This is going to be fantastic for your scrapbook pages also. So right here is our middle line. So we're going to stamp. Isn't that beautiful image? Love it. And we're going to stamp here. Now, we're going to Basically, that is our focal images on two cards. So just let up your low-tech tape. I save mine because I use it over and over until it's totally no-tech. Um, so now, if you're using a glass mat surface, don't forget to wipe it off because you'll have a, you went over on your paper. So you're going to have some ink on your surface. I know this because I've done it. Okay. So, now, now we have this sheet of paper. It's eight inches wide, so we're going to cut it right down the middle at four inches. And let me get my paper cutter. So, we're going to go to four inches and cut this really quickly. This is pretty fast card. Two cards. There you go. And look how pretty those are by itself. Let me show you. Look how pretty. Aren't they pretty? I just love them. Very, very pretty. Okay, so the first one we're going to make is this card right here. It was really quick and easy. It's really not fancy, but it's really cute. Let's celebrate you. Actually, I think that this would be a perfect guy card. I don't think it's too frilly. Um, you could always live off the little accents if you thought that made it too girly. And it has a leaf on it. Or you can, you know, use this for anything. I just put the Let's Celebrate You because I need some birthday cards. 
And then on the inside, I just did a stamped image of the sunflower just to add a little extra to it. So let's get started. This is our card right like this, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is, we have our sentiment, let's celebrate you. We used the lovely label punch, and I did one card with this, and I did one card with this side. So either side that you like. The largest one is an inch, so this brown is an inch, okay? So, and on this card, I did embossing with the greenery embossing folder right here. And this one, I did not. So I did it a little bit different. So there's so many possibilities with this. So the first thing we're gonna do is I did my leaf. This was the matching die set. So I'm getting out my multi-purpose glue here. I'm just, just adding a dot really all we need on this and it'll hold really I squeeze it at the bottom and I just kind of spread it okay and we're just going to put this down on our card the next thing we're going to do is we are going to use our stamping dimensions here and we're going to pop this up just a little bit just to give it a little bit of interest so, I just used my Stampin' Dimensionals on it. And you just put that on and you take this off the back. It's very simple to use. You won't have any problems. You can use your take a pick too, if you need to. Some days I can just pop these off with no problem. Some days I do need my take a pick. So I definitely think that it just depends. Now look how nice that card is. Now, add it with your early espresso. Look at that. Look how that pops. And it is so easy. You stamp once and you've made two card fronts. I mean, really easy. How much easier can it get, guys? If you have any questions, don't hesitate to comment below. And don't forget, if you'd like to subscribe to my email list, the link is below. Just click on that and fill it out. I'll be happy to send you one of the new catalogs if you don't have a demonstrator. Um, I can add you to my email list, and I'm happy to send your birthday card if you put your birth month on there and date. And that is the first card we've created. Isn't that simple? Very simple. Easy. And look how cute that is. Now, the only other thing I'm going to show you how to do is, is we're going to take our Take a Pick tool. We're gonna get our sticky in, that's what I call it. We're gonna pick up, these are our accents. And the actual name of these are Flowers for Every Season Gems. I'm sorry, these are gems. Now, you pick it up on the round side with your take a pick. So when you turn it over, it's the flat side and you're gonna have, add the slightest bit just like that. See how little bit is on that? Just the slightest bit to add this little gem on. And it just releases. And of course it would release on my finger. There you go. It just takes a minute for that to adhere. Now let's do it again. See that? Just the tiniest bit of glue We're going to add it. It just comes off really easily. But if you touch it with that end again, it will pick it up because the glue's not dry. So it's really, really easy to add these. I did practice and this worked best with me. I did use the mini dots and it was really harder for me. So you might try the mini dots. It might be helpful to you. but this worked best for me. And it really is, <laughs> that's so funny that when I do it, 
by myself. It comes no problems, and I do it in front of you guys, and it's always different. So there you go. So that's basically how you create that. I'm not sure if I like that. Placement. So I'm going to have to work on that. I like the placement of the other card much better than when I did this. So this is the other card. Look how I placed those. I like those a lot better than the way I just placed these. They don't look as good. So that's this card. Isn't that pretty? Very easy. Okay, so let's go to the next card front that we have. Remember, we've already created it. And we're going to turn the card this way, just to do something different. And we're going to use Bumblebee. This is one of the new in colors. Don't you love that? And look how pretty that is just to sit there with that yellow. I just love that. It's just really pretty. So, and this is the card. We add a little green on there just for, just a little green, just to give a little interest. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is... We're going to go ahead and add the centers to the flowers. So we'll put just a little bit of adhesive on there. And I wanted to do this first so that adhesive would dry so that you can just trim it off really easily. I'm going to show you how I did that. Let me put a little more glue on this end. Okay, now I got glue on my glass surface, so just wipe it off. Okay. And we're just gonna let this adhere for just a second so that we can cut that off with very easily. Okay. So, the next thing we're going to do is, we've got this sentiment, and the sentiment I used is congratulations on reaching a whole new level of wonderful. And I really send tons of friend cards, so I thought this was a great sentiment for that. And I'm using the Label Me Lovely Punch here. It's one of my favorites. So, we're going to use these leaves. And I thought that these leaves, I'm gonna to attach to the card. I thought it just put a little green in there. It just kind of added some more interest. So that's what we're gonna do. When I add the glue to the card and then adhere my embellishment or my die cut to that, let me move that so you all can see. Um, I add it to the back of the card, and then I take my take-a-pick tool and just push it into the glue. And see how cute that is? So I'm gonna put some glue on the other side, just... Let me show you there. And I just put the... the leaf down and you just add it into the glue. I just use my take a pick tool, my little spatula is what I call it. I don't know what it really is, but for me, it's a spatula. So, okay. So that is on there. So we're gonna let that just stay a little bit. Now, these are pretty well dried, so we're going to get our scissors, our paper snips, and basically, we're just gonna cut these. This is just, we're just gonna cut these off at the paper's edge, okay? That's all we're doing, is just trimming that up along that edge. That's kind of why you have to let the adhesive dry just a little bit. Okay. So it just adds a little more color to it. That's why I like that. Now, 
The next thing we're going to do is add some dimensionals to our sentiment. Because I really wanted the leaves to pop up off the card base. Just because I think it makes it more interesting and just adds a little something to it. You don't have to do that. You can, if you don't have Stampin' Dimensions, don't worry about it. Just apply it down. Remember, you can. this is just a pattern. You can kind of do it however you want to do it or what makes you happy. So, now, we have this, and we've adhered it down. Isn't that pretty? I love that. So, we're going to go ahead and put our accents on, our gems. So, we're going to get out our tip picker tool. We'll do this again. Let me show you again. Let's just hope it's a lot more cooperative than the last card, guys. But really, these are not hard to add. Not hard to add at all. You just have to remember not to put this back on there because it'll take it back up. See how easy that one went down? And you add just a little bit of glue, not much, just, just a fraction. And then I'm gonna take my scissors and pull it off with my scissors. There we go. Look how easy that one was. So maybe the scissors is the deal, especially when I'm on video because I didn't have that problem before. <laughs> so I think you're all are gonna love this new catalog. I do, there's so many beautiful things in it that I love. There's our gems, perfectly on there. Isn't that pretty? What do y'all think? Look at that. I love these little gems, they just add a lot. And actually this is from a different set, but I didn't care, I just used it. You don't have to go with matching sets, you can mix and match, these are your own creations. And you guys can do anything you want. So, just mix and match however, whatever you can turn up with that's beautiful. That's for sure. So, don't forget, if you need a catalog, fill out the link below, and I'll be happy to send you one. If you don't have a demonstrator, I'm happy to do that for you. I have lots of other videos posted. So, there we go. Let me fold it. And there we go. Isn't that pretty? Don't you love that? I love that. I just think it's beautiful. Thanks, guys. I certainly appreciate you spending some time with me. I hope you learned something. If you have any comments or any questions or anything you want to ask me, be sure and put it in the link below, or you can email me. My links below are to my websites also. I hope everyone has a great day. Stay safe. Be healthy. Bye, guys.